Apparently, when it goes around, comes around. A Dallas-based law firm administrative manager was fired after recently posting a crazed rant about shooting people who would ask him to wear a face mask. I mean, this is complete insanity. Courthouse News reports that former Thompson and Knight employee Kevin Bain drew attention on social media last week when he posted a face a, a threatening message against businesses that do not admit customers who don't wear face masks. So, you know, this is a response, of course, to I believe it was a Costco or a Whole Foods uh, that decided, hey, look, if you're not wearing a face mask, we're not going to let you in because that puts us in danger. That puts us other customers in danger. We're not going to do that. So now Bain wrote this, quote, no more masks, which is ironic from somebody named Bain. Um, Batman joke. Uh, all right. Uh, and he said, any business that tells me to put on a mask, Whole Foods on Lomo Alto in Dallas, will get told to kiss my corona ass and will lose my business forever. Is he admitting that like, he's going to get it? Like he believes that it's going to happen? I mean, why else would you describe it as a corona ass? Just saying. So, but look, before I get into the, the threats and the, the crazy, uh, I wouldn't be surprised to find out the same kind of person who thinks that bakeries should be able to discriminate against gay people by not baking them a cake. I'm just saying, like, you know, People like, yeah, don't bake them homos a cake. Stop. Ask me to wear a mask. How dare you? I can't believe it. I mean, wearing a mask. Look, the irony here, the irony here uh, is it's only wearing a mask, right? Versus asking people to change the very core of their being, their sexuality, right? Or discriminating against them because they can't change who they are because, you know, they're gay. Right. Um, one's asking for a cake and the other is saying, I want to have the right to spread my COVID all over the place. I'm just saying like ridiculous, right? Wearing a mask is such a really minor thing to do. You'd think they'd be asking for them to surrender their guns or something, which we've seen in a lot of states. They haven't uh, been doing so. Uh, in fact, there are people carrying around, you know, uh, assault style weapons out there protesting, long guns, uh, bazookas, subway. I mean, the people are doing some pretty ridiculous things and nobody's going after them for it. But, uh, you know, if they ask you to put on a mask, well, that's enough. Apparently, it's enough to get people killed. And so, uh, you know, that's look, this, this happened at a, uh, at, what was it, a family dollar or dollar general or something like that. Uh, in Flint, where somebody came back and, and murdered a security guard for telling somebody to put a face mask on. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, but anyway, Bain then direct uh, proceeded to, of course, make some direct threats. He said, it's time to stop the BS. Do I have to show the lame security outside of a ghetto store my CV-19 test result? I will show him my Glock 21 shooting range results with Hornady hollow points, pricey ammo, but worth it in this situation. They have reached the limit. I have more power than they do. They just don't know it yet. These are the threats against a, a, a store, right? That just wants to protect not only its workers, but other customers. And this guy's like so angry at being inconvenienced temporarily because, oh my God, you actually have to think about somebody other than yourself. How dare you ask me to think about other people and temporarily inconvenience me? No, no, no. I can't. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. I mean, it's ridiculous. That said, here's the thing. I think the real reason that these people don't want to wear masks and protect other people is because they're afraid of being unmanned. I mean, look, let's, let's be honest, right? I don't think a lot of people are talking about the problem of men considering themselves weak for following medical advice and actually listening to science and doing things to not only protect themselves, but to protect other people. It's sort of a form of toxic masculinity. Masculinity itself is not toxic, but there is toxic masculinity. It's where you don't take medical advice, e even though it's healthier for you and for everyone around you. Uh, and, and it's where you do things that, you know, don't make any sense, but make you feel like you're manly. 
You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. I mean, for them, wearing masks is for weak, fearful, girly men. Real men get COVID at 19 and die. I mean, look, that's why you see a lot of this on the right. That's why you see people out there with their guns, right? It's not about freedom for most of these guys. No. See, that's why this guy is flipping out. He doesn't want to be perceived as weak for wearing a mask and looking out for someone else. And more importantly, I think being told what to do by someone else. Now, how dare you tell me what to do? I tell you tell me what to do. wear a mask. I don't want to wear a mask. No, that's for girly weak men. No, I'm going to go and I'm going to strut around this store with my gun and my COVID. I'm going to breathe on everybody. I mean, it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Now, look, at the same time, I don't like being told what to do. That's why I work for myself, right? I kind of hate it, but I do understand. I, it's because I don't have a goddamn baby brain. I get that wearing masks doesn't just doesn't protect me. It It's to protect you from me just in case I have it. And this is why, look, I, I, I like to think that, you know, to assume that everybody has it, that I have it, right? Uh, and so the reason that I like to do that is, is, is because it's first me to take the necessary precautions to protect others from me just in case I do have it, you know, and, and it, that involves wearing a mask. If I go to the grocery store, one of those things. Now I've chosen not to go to the grocery store, but instead, you know, use like things I shipped and, and, and all that. Uh, in order to, you know, get somebody to, to get groceries for me. So I don't actually go out into the stores because I don't have a mask. Right. And so, yes, I could get a mask uh, quite easily. And if I wanted to go to the store bad enough, I will go get a mask. Otherwise, I prefer to keep others safe by staying indoors. It just makes sense. Not only that, but social distancing, washing my hands, uh, uh, using hand sanitizer, of course, and self-quarantining if I feel like I'm sick. That's Those are the things that you should actually be doing to protect other people, right? There's Look, there's nothing unmanly about, you know, protecting your parents and friends, grandparents, and children from getting this very contagious virus that preys on people with compromised immune systems. Healthy people are the shield to protect the weak, and we are not weaker for it. If we get COVID, yeah, we'll survive, but we should really be worried about those who might not and to prevent them from getting sick by staying home and not being like this guy who revealed himself to be a raging sociopath. Thompson and Knight, of course, immediately moved to fire this guy after learning about this ridiculous rant. They said this in a statement, this post is a complete violation of the values our firm, including our commitment to the health and safety of the communities we serve. We have terminated this individual's employment and notified the proper authorities about the post as a precaution. So look, do I feel bad about this guy losing his job? No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lose any sleep over this, right? No, why? It's because he earned that firing all on his own by doing exactly what he did. I guess it goes back to personal responsibility and hey, and the fact that if you play stupid games, expect to win stupid prizes. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show, you know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.